live. All right, hi everybody at home. My name is Chris, and welcome to Disney Channel Go Fan Fest here at Disney California Adventure. And we are about to start some DuckTales trivia. Yeah, you see that? That's magic, magic of live theater right there. Okay, you ready? Here goes the first question. Here we go. In the Disney Channel series, what color is Scrooge McDuck's jacket? On the count of three, we'll say it out loud. Ready? One, two, three. Is it A, blue? What is it? Red. You guys are right. Great job. Let's check out the answer. Let's see. Red. You guys are awesome. Okay, here we go. All right, next question. What is the name of Scrooge's plane? Is it A, the sea duck? Is it B, the sun chaser? Is it C, the gold wing? Or is it D, the spruce duck? On the count of three. One, two, three. Are you sure? All right, let's see the answer. It is the sun chaser. Great job, everybody. Great job. Okay. Next question. In the Disney Channel series, how does Scrooge use his cane? Is it A, to help him walk? Mm. Is it B, as a weapon? Is it C, to find gold? Or is it D, a key to open the money bin? On the count of three. One, two, three. Ooh, there's a lot of different answers there. All right, let's look at the answer. It is B as a weapon. Congrats, whoever got it. You got it in the front. You got it in the front. All right, next question. All right, finish the lyric. <laughs> Life is like a hurricane here in Duckbird. Race cars, lasers, airplane. A, it's a duck blur. B, it's a duck stir. C, it's a duck fur. And D, it's a duck sir. On the count of three. One, two, three. All right, and the answer is... Hey, it's a duck blur. Great job, everybody. Great job. Okay. Next question. The character of Scrooge McDuck is voiced by David Tennant. Yeah. All right. Now, what country is David from? Is it A, Ireland? Is it B, Scotland? Is it C, England? Or is it D, Wales on the count of three? One, two, three. All right. Let's check out the answer. Scotland. All right, all right. All right, folks, did you guys have a good time with that trivia? Yeah. Are you ready for some DuckTales? Yeah. All right, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Perfect. <laughs> You're just in time for the best part. This is your chance to shine. Ah, it's all me! Oh. Awesome! Well, this is kind of nice. You live in your world. I'll live in mine. To our family. Can I get an E-I-E-I-O? -E yeah. oh, too easy. This is not funny. All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Sam Regal. Woo! Check, check. Hey, everybody, I'm Sam Regal. Nice to meet you. Hi. How you guys doing today? You enjoying FanFest? Yeah. Well, uh, like, uh, like you said, my name is Sam Regal. I'm the voice director for DuckTales. You've never heard of me, and you are about to forget about me when the, uh, the other guests get up here. Um, now, who here watches DuckTales? If you said woo-woo, you get an extra 50 nerd points. Um, today, you guys are going to witness a one-of-a-kind event. This, the, the, the entire cast, well, most of the cast, of DuckTales is going to be here on stage doing a live table read of an actual episode of the show. Now, what is a table read, you might ask yourselves? Well... You know how cartoons are awesome because the script, the action, the music, the sound effects, and the gorgeous animation? Well, this is all of that except for the action, the music, the sound effects, and the animation. 
Basically, they're just reading. So our amazing actors are going to be up here sitting in these seats, uh, reading through a brand new episode of DuckTales live on this stage. When it's over, that's it. It'll never be done again. It's just here today. So uh, I'll be describing how the action unfolds. You guys will have to use your imaginations to fill in the rest. Does this sound good? Yeah! Awesome. Uh, ah! um, now, to get this thing going and really, uh, really get in the spirit, we're going to sing the national anthem of Duckburg. Uh, so we want you all to join us, and we're going to go and sing the theme song of DuckTales. So hit it, guys, and let's watch it, too. Everybody sing! Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, airplanes. It's a Duckburg. Might solve the mystery. Hurry. Man, that was awesome. Okay, let's get the read through going and get the uh, welcome our fabulous DuckTales cast members to the stage. So, joining me right now, the super spy grandma and protector of McDuck Manor, the voice of Mrs. Beakley, Tokes Olagundaye. Give her a hand. How do you pronounce her name? This is so fun. Tokes, what's her last name? I'll try to I'm cheer, say like cheer people, but if I'm still like. <laughs> Next up, everybody's favorite ball of energy and mystery hunter extraordinaire, the voice of Webby Vanderquack, Kate McCoochie! Hey! Our troublemaking boy in blue, singer of his own theme song and voice of Dewey Duck, Ben Schwartz! Next up is the fast-talking, slow-moving con man of the trio, the voice of Louie Duck, Bobby Moynihan. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. The keeper of the Junior Woodchuck Guidebook and all-around smarty pants, the voice of Huey Duck, Danny Pooty. And that's everybody. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, wait, I, I, I forgot one. I forgot one. The head of the family, chief adventurer, and penny pinching money bags, the voice of Scrooge McDuck, David Tennant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we yeah. are. Oh, Look yeah. at this. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, it's live. Live reading out loud, guys. <laughs> All right. Good All right. luck. Uh, welcome, guys, to FanFest. Thanks for being here. Um, are you guys ready to uh, perform an action-packed episode while sitting in chairs? <laughs> yes. Yes. I was just yes. thinking no, that. Really. How did you get that? How did you get that? Oh, you, you have, like, notes see. and stuff. Oh. Everyone treats Ben special. Do we just throw our pages when we're done with them? I guess we do. <laughs> We're all sharing that one music stand? <laughs> yeah. Pass it along. <laughs> that music stand. Um, I well, like that first note. Guys, uh, there's a special treat tonight because in addition to voicing their regular characters, uh, some of our cast will be playing new and unusual roles as we go along, so stay tuned for that. Mm. I will be reading the narration. This is going to change lives, and here we go. <laughs> All right. We're going to just begin. Are you guys oh, ready? Yeah. 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 Sure. Do we okay. need to do any like vocal right warm-ups? Now? Right now? Right now. Oh. You don't want to take a question <laughs> first? Yeah, Questions? do we want to do 30 minutes? <laughs> yeah, we should do 30 minutes. Let's do <laughs> Yeah. All I see is cell phones and mouse ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, Donald. Oh, Donald's Donald here. Bush. Hi, Donald. All right, here we go. DuckTales. Yeah. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. That's the best t-shirt in the world. We were... We were yeah. Who's at the yeah. break? We were talking about your shirt yes. backstage. Yeah. 
He has a Doc Tales T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't pretend to understand the reference. <laughs> Later, I'll explain. Okay. Later, later, I'll explain. Yeah. Uh, all right. So use the theater of your minds as we transport you to the McMystery at McDuck McManor, written by Colleen Evanson. Okay. Imagine, if you will, we are in stately McDuck Manor. It is day. Mrs. Beakley carries duffel bags to the front door, preparing for a trip. Webby tosses her duffel bag on the, on the pile. A crossbow falls out as Huey, Dewey, and Louie approach. What's all this? Oh, every year I brush up on my survivor skills on a secret island. Webby. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, a regular island where young warriors definitely don't combat the forces of nature in each other. <laughs> Grenades fall out of her duffel bag. She you know, picks them back in. You know, girl stuff. <laughs> Mrs. Better Beakley go. looks around anxiously. We better go. Wait, why are you looking around anxiously? <sighs> <laughs> You'd figure it out sooner or later. Today is Mr. McDuck's birthday. His what? How did I miss this? <laughs> Huey okay. pulls out a pen and clipboard. Okay, people, we are in a crisis party planning mode. Louis, start a guest list. Dewey. Absolutely not. Mr. McDuck has a strict no birthday party rule. But our most epic relative deserves the most epic party ever. I don't know. He hasn't had a good birthday since before his old butler Duckworth died. Webby points to an oil painting of a stuffy yet dignified Duckworth, dusting an oil painting of a stuffy yet dignified Scrooge. <laughs> like this stuffy old guy could plan a better party than me. Fine. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> if I don't come back, tell my story. <laughs> <laughs> they exit through the front door. <laughs> it's Huey's time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> He's got crazy eyes. <laughs> uh, later that evening, Scrooge walks down the mansion hallway alone. Another year older, another year richer. The house all to myself. Time to celebrate with peace and quiet. He hears a commotion from down the hall. Uh, my ferocious guard dogs. Down, peace. Down, quiet. <laughs> Defense is high. Scrooge approaches the door and leaps into the main hall, fully decorated for a party. Hey, you guys know how at surprise parties people yell surprise? Maybe you guys could help us out with this. He finds a, a group of costumed guests. A DJ in a Daft Punk-style robot helmet spins beats, and everybody yells... Surprise! Bah! A home invasion! Take that, you bionic bandit! <laughs> he lunges at the DJ. No, 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 Uncle Scrooge, that's Dewey! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have this. <laughs> uh, just a note, Daft Duck Dewey will only respond through key uh, keyboard. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It this will definitely not be annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the only sound it plays, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> We're throwing you a surprise party! Woo! He blows a noisemaker in, uh, in Scrooge's angry face. Scrooge has never looked angrier. I said Scrooge has never, never looked angrier. Mm. Anyway, that's, uh, that's the end Grr. of the... Thank you. Grr. Uh, you don't have to usually do the facial you expressions. Know. Somebody else does uh, that. This is a visual medium. It is difficult. Cartoons. Yeah. And then we cut to that classic theme song that everybody knows and loves. Hit it, Ben. Yeah, right. Oh, should we sing the theme song, guys? Yeah, yeah let's do it. Ready? Yeah. All right, it starts like this. <laughs> Duck is like a hurricane here in Duck Bird. Race cars, lasers, airplanes. It's a duck blur. A must of a mystery. For what? For rewrite history. Duck tales. Woo! Every day. That's good enough. <laughs> duck tales. Woo! <laughs> tales of daring do bad and, and good luck. Tales. tales. I didn't know he was still doing it. Woo! Wait, 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 wait. This is the part where. Okay, <laughs> there it is. Fantastic. Thank you, Sam. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. It. <laughs> I, I think that was the best it's ever sounded. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. We can fix that with auto-tune. <laughs> Back to the party where Huey sits Scrooge down for a special, uh, on his special birthday boy throne. Come on, hop aboard the Happy Birthday Express. Happy Toot toot! <laughs> a balloon pop relay game is coming into the station. Scrooge pops all the balloons. 
Stations closed. <laughs> Not up for party games, got it. Well, next is mingling from 6 to 6.05. Bathroom break at 6.06, but keep it under a minute because at 6.07, we're scheduled to have fun. A fun time. <laughs> <laughs> What the blazes was that? Yeah. Oh. What up, y'all? <laughs> that's oh. your voice. That's <laughs> yeah, I could have easily done this without the key. You can keep it. <laughs> yeah. This key turn costs $15,000. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday! But you guys don't even, you guys aren't even ready for it. You don't need to be here. That's so cool, though. <laughs> Oh boy. So Dewey is only answering to his DJ name tonight. Just go with it. Scrooge surveys the room of assorted masked guests. Why? I thought a bunch of masked weirdos in my house. Oh, Louie put together a guest list of Duckburg's most powerful and elite. Yeah, we had to make it a costume party to throw off the paparazzi. You know, get in the spirit. He puts a smiling Scrooge mask on Scrooge, who smacks it off. Oh, you know, not what well, that's cool. Uh, staff meeting! Huey pulls. I Huey pulls Dewey and Louie aside into a curtained alcove. I don't think Scrooge wants a party. That's crazy. Okay, there have been a few bumps, but he'll come around, especially once Dewey gets my pre-approved music playlist going. Right, Dewey? <laughs> Dewey? Hey, Dewey. Okay, DJ Daft Duck. What up, what up? Happy <laughs> birthday! <laughs> Listen, I know planning is your thing, but you were cramping our style. You gotta relax. Okay, a party is a celebration of a life, bringing people together to let the guest of honor know how much they're loved. Uncle Scrooge has done so much for us. This is our chance to do something for him. By forcing him to have fun at a party he doesn't want to be at? I knew you'd understand. Oh, my. Lu uh, Huey exits the alcove dramatically. Back in the main hall. That was dramatic. Thank you. Uh, that was very dramatic. I don't dramatic. know. I don't know. Back in the main hall, Scrooge starts to sneak away when Huey pivots him back to his seat. Hey, there's the birthday boy. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I've got just the thing to help you get into the party mood. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, grand illusionist, master of the arcane. A mysterious hooded figure enters through fog. He's like Chris Angel, but somehow worse. <laughs> <laughs> Any Chris Angel fans out there? Chris Angel fan, no? Oh, God. Chris, Chris Angel is here tonight. Yeah. We, don't have, we don't have to read all the oh stage. Oh, my God, there's a mind freak. <laughs> <laughs> this is a mind freak. A oh, banner. No. Uh, <laughs> a banner drops down reading Nick Nocturne. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do a, a dude voice. I've been hired to do the dude voice. Yes, here today goes. the role of Nick Nocturne will be played by DuckTales' own Kate McCoochie. Yeah. Woo Happy birthday. <laughs> Spilled with two Ks, because I made the C's disappear. <laughs> yeah. Good nice. deep voice. Yeah. Go for it. Oh, yeah. If there's one thing <laughs> I hate more than birthday parties, it's birthday party magicians. Cheap con men passing off phony tricks as real magic. <laughs> You, non-believer, come forth to experience real magic. Nick pulls back a sheet from a small, uh, no, a tall, <laughs> that's the opposite, <laughs> from a tall black box. Behold, the abyss box. Nope. Okay, <laughs> but Uncle Scrooge, you have to. It's for the party. Huey's eyes glisten with hope. Scrooge can't say no to that face. <laughs> They're in love. <laughs> he steps up to the box and is shoved in. Who knows what mysteries wait inside? To be clear, you want me to hide inside the trap door in here? Uh, 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 hmm. Embrace the pool of the darkness. I call upon the spirits. And then all of a sudden the lights go off. There's, oh, no! there's, a, <laughs> there's a scream, a flash, a clang, and a whisper. <laughs> The party has just begun. The lights come back on. The box is in a heap of splinters. Scrooge is gone. Everyone applauds. Everyone, everyone applauds slightly more. That's good. That's good. No, no, my beautiful, beautiful box. <laughs> That's how dudes talk. <laughs> I don't think that was a magic trick. Worried, the kids rush over to the <laughs> abyss box. Scrooge is nowhere to be found. Huey finds something among the debris. 
Hang on. Our dear old Uncle Scrooge would never go anywhere without his precious wallet. Huey dramatically presents Scrooge's wallet. Everyone in the audience gasps. Ooh. Wow, that was good. That was really good. Yeah. That was really good. I love that. Choices. We could get that on the keyboard. It'd be great. I'd like to repeat that. What do you want to guess? So Watch this. Gas. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. And by the way, anytime the rest of the cast looks at me, it's because I'm not supposed to be pressing the button. <laughs> <laughs> Scrooge, oh, is <laughs> Scrooge isn't just gone, he's gone missing. <laughs> wait, 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 that's my bad. That's my bad. Thank you. Yeah. Huey runs from door to door, jiggling each doorknob. Aha! Just as I suspected, we're locked in. That means the kidnapper is still in this very room. <laughs> Clear the party schedule. Things just got interesting. Hubert, a word. Hmm. Louis takes his brothers back into that curtained alcove. What are you doing? Can't you see? What's more fun than a locked room mystery party? We solve the mystery and find Scrooge so he can experience the true joy of a flawless birthday party. I don't know, shouldn't we? And I feel gross even suggesting this Call a responsible adult, ew. Deep. 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 Are you okay? Deep. <laughs> but, Deep. Okay, yep, yep. But Louis, who can we, who can you call when everyone is a suspect? Come, the game is afoot. Uh, I hate this already. Oh, yes. Uh, can't get that helmet off, can you? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Back. Oh, no. Oh, Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Back in the main hall. Hey, you this is still funnier. <laughs> <laughs> How are we feeling? Yeah, you're in the room. You're in the room. Yeah, you're in the Okay. Because yeah. I, I got four more keys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare lower my volume. <laughs> yeah, they lower. <laughs> Happy birthday! Yeah, crank it, yeah! <laughs> there it is. Back in the main hall, Huey uh, paces around the room like a TV detective. Ladies and gentlemen, you are no longer guests. You are now suspects in the disappearance of Scrooge McDuck. How fitting, since our prime suspect is a master of making things disappear. Nick Nocturne! Everyone gasps. Uh, oh, gasp. You accuse me? Ha! I merely am I merely a messenger of the dark arts. Who had the motive? Scrooge was making fun of you. And the means. That dumb box thing. Nick Nocturne is a professional. I can handle a little heckling. Is that so? The kids surround Nick and mercilessly heckle him. I, 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 Why don't I, 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 you make like anyone's interest in you and disappear? <laughs> is this your card? 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 Nick Nocturne loses his cool. He pulls back his hood, revealing that Nick N Nocturne is actually <gasps> a Beagle Boy. Oh, and where there's a Beagle Boy, there must be. Ma, they're being mean to me. I'm <laughs> crying out loud. The guest sighs and removes her mask to reveal Ma Beagle. Oh, <laughs> Today, the role of Ma Beagle will be played by DuckTales' own Tox Olagundaya! Yeah! Yeah! I always gotta do everything myself. <sighs> she pulls out a wrench and charges at the boys, then rushes past them to a door. She tries to knock the handle off, but it won't budge. Oh, I can't believe I'm stuck in here with you morons. <laughs> That's right, fools. Nick Nocturne was really me, Black Art Spiegel, all along. This was all part of our sinister plan to pull off the greatest illusion of all. Shut it, Black Art. <laughs> I would bewilder you with more details with my mystical powers. Shut it, Black Arts. But it would all be a distraction. Stop explaining the plan, Black Arts. Of course. While the magician made our uncle disappear, Ma would sneak away to rob Scrooge. <sighs> Ma Beagle, I accuse you of abducting Scrooge McDuck and breaking and entering. Breaking and entering? Well, I was invited to this party. Louie, you invited Ma Beagle? What? She's a totally legitimate businesswoman. Oh, no! Also, <laughs> also, you gave me one hour to put together a guest list. Why would I abduct Scrooge McDuck? He's more trouble than he's worth, and he's worth a lot. 
All right, this, we're going to flash back to the party earlier. This is conceptual. The moment, <laughs> the moment when Scrooge entered the abyss box, a masked mob eagle waits off to the side. Oh, I was counting on black arts for a distraction, but of course he messed that up. So when the lights went out, I went to rob the joint while you dingbats weren't looking. Unfortunately, someone locked the stinking doors. In the dark, she rushes to a door, but the knob won't budge. She clang, clang, clangs her wrench against the doorknob. Flash forward to the present. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. Is that? Is that you? Did you do that? That was my voice. <laughs> <laughs> Is that crazy? <laughs> I didn't think this dummy would actually make Scrooge disappear. Oh, I'm not a dummy. I'm the master of the arcane. Ah, yes. The blackout. <laughs> the chandelier mysteriously went out, but follow the power supply for the chandelier to... Huey follows a cord connecting the chandelier down the wall behind a painting of Duckworth. A stupid painting. Stupid painting or elaborate security system, ha! Huey throws back the painting, revealing a sophisticated security panel. That's a DT-87. Toughest security system out there. It'd take some kind of tech genius to hack it and turn out the lights. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got a text, Ben. Uh, Dewey runs up and shows his brother something on his phone. Someone has been... Someone has been live posting pictures of the party from inside the room. But who would use our Wi-Fi for that when they could be using it to watch new episodes of DuckTales on the Disney Now app? Certain restrictions apply. <laughs> Available on most devices. <laughs> Disney. <laughs> Huey... <laughs> Huey rushes up to a masked guest typing away on their phone. Huey dramatically removes the mask from that guest, revealing... Mark Beeks. What up, player? Today, the role of Mark Beeks will be played by DuckTales' own Ben Schwartz! <laughs> she <Say what? laughs> You, Mark Beeks, <laughs> were dying to take Scrooge down because he's richer than you. Listen, Red Hat, Ooh. I'm not threatened by Scrooge's money. Cash is dead. The new currency is buzz. So when I got the invitation to this party... You invited him to... One hour to prepare! <laughs> One! I saw my shot. I wasn't trying to hack the lights. I wanted to hack the security system. Duh. <laughs> to erase all evidence of Scrooge's disappearance. Uh, no. I was looking for super embarrassing videos of Scrooge like this. He shows security footage of Scrooge as he casually slams into a closed glass door. <laughs> <laughs> that door was so clean he thought it was open, but it wasn't. <laughs> oh, man, so embarrassing. Happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to post this gem all over the internet. Internet. Scrooge will look dumb while my account gets a dumb amount of views. Kaboom! Beaks out! <clears throat> Beaks goes to exit the door but slams into it. Uh oh, oh, forgot that was locked. Wait, nobody filmed that, right? Did they? Oh no, I'm ruined! Well, that explains the blackout and the flash was from Beaks' selfie. Let me see that picture again. Huey zooms in on the picture to reveal a party guest in the background with a gift opening the abyss box. Someone opened my abyss box the moment before Scrooge disappeared. Someone who hates Scrooge more than anyone. The same masked person from the picture tries to sneak away. Huey rushes over and grabs his mask, revealing... Flintheart Glomgold! Today, the role of Flintheart Glomgold will be played by David Tennant. <laughs> Tennant, this, we're making history, guys. Tennant will be the first true Scotsman to play Scrooge McDuck and will make history once again by being the first true Scotsman to play Glomgold with an authentic Scottish accent. Let's hear it. Yeah! <laughs> what? How did you know it was me? <laughs> <laughs> it was always you. How did you know it was well be? <laughs> <laughs> this was a mistake. No? <laughs> So Glomgold took Scrooge? Took Scrooge? No! <laughs> I was trying to kill Scrooge! <laughs> That's like my whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows Scrooge is easier to get to when Beakley's gone. Oh, I hate that woman! Me too. Beakley's the absolute worst, even if her voice sounds like someone far younger, more charming, and endlessly talented. I mean, yeah! <laughs> honestly, is there any role that voice couldn't play? All right, perfection? all right, all right. <laughs> oh. 
And I've got something yeah. for you, David. <laughs> oh, good, oh, good, yeah, good, 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 time, good, 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 Someone will get that. Uh, Somebody get that. Somebody get that. Grab that. We need to get that tip in about a half an hour. (laughs) (laughs) The real question is how to dispose of dear old McDuck. Oh, that's my my cue. I'm sorry. I was. Wow. I did. I didn't know what words you were saying. It's hard to follow Authentic. along. <laughs> Cue a series of hilariously failed Glomgold schemes, probably involving tying tiny bows on scorpions and trying to inflate a deadly hot air balloon indoors. All delightful visuals that you can actually see on new episodes of DuckTales <laughs> all summer long on the Disney Channel. DuckTales! I got 16. I've used... Three. <laughs> <laughs> Back to Glam Gold. Eventually, I ran out of time, shoved a spare bomb in a gift box, and ran over. Ha! Classic Glam Gold. So when the lights went out, you rushed to give Scrooge the gift so you wouldn't miss your chance. Aye? But he had already disappeared. Aye? <laughs> cool, 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 cool. But then where's the exploding present? A uh, present explodes behind them. We're going to need some audience help on this one. Everyone say boom on three. One, two, three. Yeah. The cake blows up, splattering all over Glomgold. Not my best work. <laughs> Invited guests, assorted arch enemies. Who is guilty of Scrooge McDuck's birthday disappearance? Ironically, it was the one with no plan whatsoever. The one who took advantage of the chaos to take Scrooge now, then decide how to dispose of him later. That's right. It was Flintheart Glomgold. <laughs> Wait, what? You thought you got away with it, but you didn't count on the world's greatest party planner slash detective. Take that, Duckworth! Suddenly, the lights go out. When they come back on, Glomgold is missing. I mean, <laughs> it was Mark Beeks! <laughs> the lights go out, then come back on again. Beeks is gone, too. Oh, no! <laughs> it was Mark Beeks! Oh, no! We're going to need a louder. <laughs> my, uh, my beagle? The lights out, lights up, Ma Beagle is gone too. The only villain left is... Ha ha! Black Arts did it. I was saving him for last, for dramatic tension. (laughs) A glowing Black Arts Beagle levitates over the kids as a dark mist whirls around him. He floats Dewey's keyboard away from him, thank God, playing (laughs) playing spooky organ music. This guitar is very uncomfortable. (laughs) I recorded that yesterday. This guitar is very uncomfortable. Take it. Yes, it was I who plotted this whole thing to prove to Ma that all those magic classes were not a waste of time, you hear me? The smoke whirling around Black Art's beagle (laughs) transforms into a massive horned demon ghost hovering behind him. And it was I who summoned a demon to get rid of her greatest enemy, her rivals, and then her. And now I finally get rid of you. Spirit, I command thee to get them. The demon does not move. I said, get them! The demon turns menacingly to Black Art's beagle. Oh no, I'm not as good as I thought I was. <laughs> <laughs> the, demon, the demon envelops him in smoke. Black Arts disappears. The spirit turns towards the boys menacingly. Now I'll never be able to throw a party better than Duckworth. Also, you'll be dead! <laughs> <laughs> The boys run. The spirit chases them. Cue a hilariously action-packed chase, the kind of which you can only see on DuckTales, playing every day in May on the Disney Channel. DuckTales! Woo! Yeah! This guitar is very uncomfortable. (laughs) The demon swings a massive axe at at Dewey, finally cracking his DJ helmet off his head. I never want to see that helmet again. The demon raises the axe for another shot. (laughs) I wish I had the helmet! The boys manage to run away and lose the spirit. Huey panics. I was trying to throw the best party, but wound up with the worst party. Or was it the best party for someone who hates parties? That's it. Huey quickly leads them into a secret panic room. 
I give you the man who kidnapped our Uncle Scrooge. Huey creaks open a small metal door to reveal Uncle, Uncle Scrooge. Scrooge. The person with the best reason for getting Scrooge out of the party was Scrooge himself. Wait, but what about Black Art's ghost? Not his ghost, my ghost. Kids. Meet Duckworth. The spirit appears before quickly turning into Duckworth. He's the same stuffy old butler from Scrooge's oil painting, except, you know, you can see through him now. Now, today, the role of Duckworth will be played by... Me! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Good evening, young sirs. A ghost butler! It all started with that monstrosity of a magic show. Flashback to the main hall when Black Art's beagle attempted to conjure the spirit. I call upon the spirits. That preposterous <laughs> prestidigitator conjured up a spirit, all right. Unfortunately for him, it was the ghost of my most loyal manservant. The smoke becomes the spirit of Duckworth. He realizes what's going on, smashes Black Art's abyss box, locks a nearby door, and quickly dusts off his oil painting. Back to now. I return to the corporeal world to find the mansion full of Mr. McDuck's enemies, and even worse, hosting them at a sub-bar party. Hey! So I did what any butler worth his <laughs> coattails would. What, I'm the bad guy now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I alleviated the situation. When the lights went out, you took Scrooge to protect him from the villains and me. I'm sorry, Uncle Scrooge. This was supposed to be a party for you, but I made it about me. Please accept my resignation as world's greatest party planner slash detective. Rubbish! This has been my best birthday ever. You brought me back my favorite butler from beyond the grave, no less. <laughs> you and Duckworth really threw a cork at a party. Hang on, hang on. If you like the party, why did Duckworth scare us all half to death? Ah, he was never in any real danger. That was clearly a fake ghost axe. Duckworth hides a very real axe. <laughs> <laughs> of course, sir. May this be a lesson. I never want another party. But what about holidays like Christmas, Hanukkah, or the often overlooked Arbor Day? Mr. McDuck just said no parties. Buy a card. <laughs> and that's the end of the show, everybody. That's Cue the end credits. Mr. McDuck. Gotta get it. Go get it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the cast of DuckTales. Watch it now on Disney Channel. We hope this was Thank fun you. for you. Have a great day at the parks. Have a great <laughs> Fan Fest day, and we'll see you on TV. <laughs> Bye, everybody.